It's times like this that I think, what does it all mean? How did I get here? Where am I going? And how did I manage to drop my rack and the rope in the middle of the second pitch? From easy afternoon top roping to extreme 514 plus sport routes, North Carolina is home to some of the world's best climbing, and we're here to guide you through it. You're watching Climbing Carolina. Welcome to Climbing Carolina, where we show you North Carolina's best places to climb. My name is Chad, I'm your host, and today we're here at Pilot Mountain State Park. Here's a few things you should know to make your climb a little easier. First, you have to register, fill out the form, and place it in the box. Second, there's no climbing on the big pinnacle. And of course, bring water, bug repellent in the summer, and your first aid kit. Pilot Mountain is only two hours from Raleigh and an hour and a half from Charlotte. All right, our guide for today is Daniel Rodriguez. He's going to show us a few of the routes here at Pilot Mountain. I think today we'll have you start off on Man Overboard. It's a beautiful climb. It's about eight bolts long. It starts on the left side of the ret and goes straight up. It's about 80 foot. You can see the bolt line following up. Uh, it'll go to the left of that ledge right there. And then you're going to get to the hard part. That's where the ret is. You'll follow the left side of that ret and uh, get to the top. On belay. Belay's on. Climbing. Climb on. Pilot Mountain was first known as Jemaki, our pilot to the Sarah Indians. Its odd shape made it a perfect landmark for white settlers as well as the Native Americans. Here at Pilot, we're lucky enough to have the majority of the routes bolted, so you don't need any pro, you just need your quick draw set, and you can get quite a few climbs done in the 11A, 10A range. It's really great. So you're climbing along, everything's going fine, and you look up and you see this third bolt in the middle of nothing. It's just this white rock, maybe one or two holds spread out, and you think, I don't need that bolt, it's just going to burn me out, so I'm going to go to the left. You go to the left, like I did, and you wind up in this position, facing a grounder if you miss the next bolt. So if you're out climbing at Pilot Mountain and you see a route like Man Overboard, where you think that you maybe could get around the bolt, trust me, it's not a good idea. I'm going to be there in just one second. I, I, it's not going to be that much longer. Yeah, you know, Chad, the thing I love best about climbing is the view. I'm almost there. I'll flip the little on that Especially one. after you've been sitting up here for a couple hours, you get to really suck it all if in. If you could just pull me just above the spot I'm at now, that'd be great. It'll be getting dark soon. Hope you brought your headlamp. I've only been on this thing for a couple hours. Uh, I'm still coming up. I can feel this one. Close. I'm so close. Ah! Oh! Ooh. Ow! It's been a long day. Oh, oh, okay, I'm, I fell. You just hang there for like five more minutes, I'm gonna go get some lunch. How did you do this so quickly? I, I, I must be at a different point. Maybe I went off to the right a little. If you want more information on climbing in North Carolina, go to climbingcarolina.com. There you can find guides, links, and the things you need to know before you hit the rocks. Climbingcarolina.com. Hey Chad, how you doing down there? I'm so close. 